Do you guys remember the strongholds? Yeah, neither do I. Roll it. Welcome back, your highnesses, distinguished guests, humans, non-humans, and prestigious, esteemed, honorable attendees. And let's of course not forget the one or two window lickers who brighten up our day in comments with all their insecurities and sexual frustrations. It's okay to be a window licker. You know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta lick those windows. Okay? Okay. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And also like my videos if you like them, because if you don't like them, then you don't like them, which means liking something you don't like won't be something you would like to do. And my tiny little nipples went to France. But, like it anyways? I don't know. Just do what you want. And a quick thank you to my six channel members, Billy K, Dan Chan, Ant-Man, Athena, Foul Lamb, and Juice the Ninja. You guys rock, and thank you very, very much. I'd gladly take your money and spend it on Doritos to stockpile my basement, maybe even some weird spots, places, some nooks and crannies, you know? Yeah, you didn't need to know that. For the rest of you, maybe consider becoming a channel member. There's three levels to it, you know, cheap, less cheap, and less cheaper. Yeah, that that's words. And I promise I'll make great use of your money. Yeah, even I didn't believe that. Anyways, let's get down to the main topic, which is strongholds, because Cryptic has hinted at some stronghold updates. So let's just revisit them. I love my stronghold. I loved working with my friends to level it up. It was a great long-term effort that took over two years of regular farming to reach Guild Hall 20 and maximum boons. And if you're new to Neverwinter, please keep this commitment in mind. So let's review some of the highlights of the strongholds. This is a great place to call home, our own corner of the Forgotten Realms. It revitalized some old content by forcing us to revisit it for currency to feed our hungry coffers. Then we have boons. Now, yeah, I know Cryptic has had challenges balancing content around stronghold boons, but this is far less of an issue than it used to be. The Boons are great, but not game-breaking, and they benefit newer players more than they do endgame players. Dragonflights. Dragonflights were hella fun when introduced. Yeah, I just said hella fun. Somebody shoot me, please. Even though many people did bug them, you know, reflection damage was king back then, kind of, sorta, but like other content, the rewards were not maintained. At some point, the effort to ratio just became off. People stopped running it. Then they made it far too easy. Go ahead, try it now. I dare you. It's totally soluble. The mechanics of strongholds are interesting for those nerds who study it, from prioritizing which structures to build slash upgrade, to selecting your structures, and how to get currency to upgrade your structures, and then even tending your structures. And of course, organizing and running contests to encourage donations for progression of the stronghold. It was great fun for math nerds and for those who simply wanted to know how can they help their guild the most. But where did the strongholds come up short? There is nowhere that really feels like a place to kick it with my friends. Can I kick it? The Great Hall is a great idea, and we spent resources making ours look good. But I never just go there to hang out. How could the Great Hall or the Stronghold have been more of a social hub and less of a boon factory? There's seven years of Strongholds, it's pretty clear that there should be a maintenance cost for Strongholds. You know, a method to keep the guild involved with the Stronghold as we go on. Don't get me wrong, I love donating excess materials to other guilds in the Alliance, but I'd be lying if I claimed that helping other guilds is the same as preserving my own Stronghold. Like, don't these buildings need fresh coats of paint once in a while? Do we ever need to call Exterminator to clear out the warehouses? And how is it that the farms never need fertilizer? I don't know. Just ideas. How did Cryptic lose all the intellectual capital for modifying and updating strongholds? Each time strongholds came up as a topic for new content, we hear the same challenge introduced. It would take a lot of time and effort to revisit the code and figure out how to complete the updates, they would say. That's a weird voice, okay? Just get over it. This is another one of those things where people blame developers when it's really a leadership issue. How is this code not documented? Where is the documentation from prior staff that explains how the strongholds are coded? It's managers, not developers, that track and ensure that these standards are maintained. We used to use the stronghold to help speed level alts. Bears were a popular farm for XP, and when they killed the XP system, they also killed this part of the guild camaraderie. I've said it a billion times. This is an MMO. Our focus has to be on how we get people to interact more together and differently. That doesn't necessarily mean you can go behind the bushes and give people handies for gmops or gops or goops or glutes. You get the point. Guild security. Early on, there were stories of guilds being stolen. Guilds are very expensive and it would, of course, devastate a community to lose their work due to poor security, a hacked guild leader or a rogue guild leader who sold the guild's efforts to make a stronghold for profit. They have switched around the guild ownership so it takes time to demote each and every rank 7 character a guild leader has at one time. 
This helps with guild takeovers, but presents issues with permissions for reorganizing guilds in an alliance. I'm not sure if we have the right balance now since guild shuffling is a pain in the ass, but certainly it would have helped to have security protocols implemented at the launch of the module. Some improvements came later though. One of them is Stronghold PvP. This could have been great. At the time, I thought it was a showcase for a prospective game developer to acquire Cryptic because it could show the engine capable of supporting a 20 versus 20 PVP. I like the mechanics of a siege versus a simple capture the flag model of the traditional PVP and Icewind Dale's open world PVP event. They screwed it up, of course, by allowing healers to heal and tanks to shield the catapults and by making the rewards a set of armor that was only relevant to PVPers for, let's say, a few months. Seriously. After about the second week of release, even finding a team for Stronghold PvP became a bigger challenge than Stronghold PvP itself. Marauders. This was great fun, but only in that it was easy and good for development of the Stronghold. When they screwed up the difficulty, it died. For years we ran Marauders daily at the same time until they broke it so you needed a minimum of like 20 people on the bridge to do it. Then the reward to challenge ratio was screwed up and we were never able to breathe it alive again. The Great Hall. I dig it. It added some life to Mastercrafting as they made rare furniture items to sell on the AH. Decorations from content were also easy to obtain, and it sorely needed a preview system that could help designers select and target goals for improvements. Siege of Neverwinter. This used to be a major source of Stronghold progression when it first released. The voucher drop rates have been nerfed. I'm not clear how much, but I once had a guildy gather and donate 3,187 vouchers in the two-week siege event, which is now, I think, three weeks. Explorer Cases. A great way to convert donations to the Stronghold, you know, guild marks, into astral diamonds was selling Mastercraft materials. Not so much anymore. At least I don't hear as much about people doing it. I remember my friends making tens of millions of astral diamonds on a weekend just farming Explorer Cases. Temporary Vendors. It's a nice way to use some resources, but also help the smaller guilds earning currencies the guild requires for progress. But what changes should we be looking forward to now? Here's some items I know some people in the community are looking forward to. I'm not saying I agree with them, but I know some people want them. Player housing. Cryptic has said they are nowhere near doing it, so don't hold your breath. But repeatedly, people ask for it. But why? If it's strictly a cosmetic thing, it seems kind of pointless. I once would have said this is a great idea. I mean, I had the idea of people being able to create housing via the foundry tool and using materials you acquire in-game. And people even being able to sell a fully designed player house on the auction house. But foundry's dead and I'm not sure how many people will participate in developing their player house, especially if it's cookie cutter and it doesn't serve as some sort of social hub that can be shared with friends, you know, so they can visit and see what kind of shit you added there. PvP Arena. For a while, there was a lot of talk about creating an open world PvP arena in the Stronghold, similar to Icewind Dale. I don't get it. How does this generate revenue or create content? Sure, it would be fun for both members of our PvP community, but I failed to see it as worthy of our limited development resources. So what should we be asking for? In my opinion, relevant rewards from the Heroics, Marauders, and Dragonflight. Items in the Stronghold stores that encourage running Stronghold content for guild marks. More customization of the Stronghold and decorations from content. How about a Dragon Skull decoration for a guild that has killed a thousand Dragonflights? Maybe even custom banners that display on the Stronghold walls on the guild's anniversary to reward those guilds that have somehow sustained through the ages. How about some interaction on the guild similar to the River District? Let's fight back the Horde in the Stronghold in a way that it changes the Guild slash Stronghold for a week. How about that mine in the south of the Stronghold? Let's push back enough mobs that we take the mine for the rest of the week it's unlocked for a Guild or Stronghold only with Lair rewards. Or what about up north by the Giants? There's a gate there. Could that be a Lair for new adventures? You don't defend your Stronghold this week? Expect there to be maintenance costs to repair damages. So that encourages you to defend your Stronghold so you don't pay those damage costs. Night and Day in the Stronghold. Bring the night and day mechanic from Ravenloft to the Stronghold. I want to see torches on my Stronghold lighting up the night sky. Make the PvP towers relevant outside of PvP. Give me some reason to want to work on them when Stronghold PvP is dead. Can they help passively fighting back the Horde? Obviously in my fantasy world, Strongholds have a maintenance cost. The more buildings you create, the higher the maintenance costs. So maybe those towers can be a help and a hindrance. You know, cost of maintenance versus assistance in clearing the Horde. Create a method or a vendor for trading resources. Got too much dark gift currencies, but you're short on frozen? No problem. Trade them in. Cryptic? You can actually decide on the exchange rate. But come on. Some currency is way easier to acquire, like dungeon shards, and others are a major pain, like the monkey pox. You know, like adventures and heroic shards. Cryptic can also create world bosses all around the stronghold that change every week. And every time you kill them, you gain vouchers, titles, or even statues to use in your great hall or stronghold. 
the strongholds have so many untapped areas, and it's a shame that they're not used for something somehow, some way. Imagine layers scattered throughout the land that you can battle and earn rewards to upgrade your strongholds. They can even rotate depending on the day and how much you fought back the horde that's invading your stronghold. I'm not sure about you, but I loved the strongholds. They used to be so much fun. Like, am I wrong? Am I crazy? Back then, I spent most of my time in the strongholds organizing heroic events with guild members and teaching dragon flights and getting to know people, socializing. And that's all but almost gone now. I haven't done a dragon flight in years, and I'm sure most of you haven't either. I miss the strongholds, man. Uh, I just do. So let's hope one day they revive them, because that is one hell of a waste of space and code. Anyways, that's it for my craziness. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Or do you have any other ideas for the stronghold that I missed or didn't even think of? Let me know. I'm interested. But that's it for now. And don't forget to sub to my channel and like my videos. Maybe even become a member. If not, then... These nuts. <laughs> I know you like it. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe. Impressive. You will make excellent.